to take this beautiful building and to just illuminate it blue says, hey, I'm not alone. My tragedy's not alone. My pain is not alone. I'm not, I don't have to navigate this alone. The community of Brackenridge continuing to mourn the loss of Chief Justin McIntyre. Thanks for joining us at 6. I'm Kim Gable. I'm Ken Rice. McIntyre, as you know, was shot and killed Monday while chasing a suspect. And tonight, Erica Stanish has the funeral arrangements and how a local church is working to unite the community amid the tragedy. Erica. Yeah, as funeral arrangements are finalized, the flags across the Commonwealth have been ordered to have staff in honor of Chief McIntyre. And this is just one of many ways that the communities are remembering tonight a man who dedicated his life to service and protecting others. I don't think there's one person in this region that wasn't friends with uh, Chief McIntyre. A memorial outside the Brackenridge Police Department continues to grow as many remember Chief Justin McIntyre for his life and service as a police officer. At one of the highest points in Brackenridge, glowing tonight in blue, Generations House of Worship is finding a way to bring the community together and to let others know they're not alone during this time of tragedy. There's 3,400 people just in Brackenridge, Natrona Heights, Trenum. What can we do to let everybody know our hearts grieve with you and to take this beautiful building and to just illuminate it blue says, hey, I'm not alone. My tragedy is not alone. My pain is not alone. Pastor Nick Shabrinsky is now encouraging the community to shine blue in honor of Chief McIntyre and in support of his fellow officers, friends and family. I think it's important to develop unity, especially in the last few years where just discord and disunity has been so common, whatever we can do to create unity among people. I mean, we are the most important thing on the earth. God so loved the world, the people in the world. So we need to learn to love one another. And um, to me, to say, hey, guys, let's all put blue on our houses. Anything you got that's blue, just light it up through the evening. And uh, I, it's special to me. In addition, a service will be held here tonight at 7 o'clock, offering a message of hope and healing. We're hoping to just give a massive hug um, of encouragement and support to everybody. Now, in addition to that service happening tonight, there will also be a candlelight vigil tomorrow at 7 o'clock at Brackenridge Park. And funeral arrangements have also been announced. If you would go ahead and take a look at your screen, a visitation will be held at the Ross Walker Funeral Home in New Kensington on Monday and Tuesday from 2 to 8 o'clock on both days. And on Wednesday, his service will be held at Mount St. Peter Church at noon with his burial following at Mount Airy and Natrona Heights. And all services are public. Now, we have all the this information on our website, kdk.com. Reporting live, Erica Stanish, KDK News.